Hi there, I'm Sabrina Joe, ACES Senior Director of Science and Research. My number one tip for successfully working with older adults is to never assume that you know what they need simply because of their age. Now, obviously, we shouldn't assume what any client needs, regardless of how old they are. But I've found that in the business of fitness, it's common for trainers and coaches to treat clients who are middle-aged and older differently because they think that programming for senior folks tends to be a one-size-fits-all formula. And nothing could be further from the truth. To help with this, ACE has recently published two articles that cover some excellent strategies for working with older adults. The first article discusses the effects of aging on physical activity. For example, the impact of aging on collagen production can lead to decreased elasticity, which could result in injury, followed by increased healing time, which can cause lapses in activity. Because of this, exercise professionals should understand the risk and reward of exercise selection for each client, as well as the importance of recovery time. It is also essential to consider chronic conditions that may impact motivation, and professionals should help clients practice self-compassion and adapt to changes in their physical abilities. The second article emphasizes the importance of communication and personalized exercise programming when working with older adults, and then provides several strategies for developing exercise programs for older clients. These strategies include starting slowly and progressing safely, focusing on recovery, offering options to adapt movements, and being mindful of unique aging characteristics. Starting slowly and progressing safely is a must for any client. It's erroneous to think that older adults can't train to get stronger and fitter because they absolutely can, and many often have increased fitness and performance as goals. Applying safe progression principles and having open communication about how workouts are feeling for older clients will help determine appropriate intensity and pacing. Focusing on recovery, both throughout the week and within each session, will help reduce the risk of injury. Often, clients can perform the same types of activities they did when they were younger, but simply need more time to recover. When you offer movement options for any exercise, it will free you to be more creative in your programming as you work with clients to find what feels right for them. Lastly, being mindful of unique aging characteristics means that you can personalize exercise programs that take into account the client's capabilities and limitations. For example, issues related to aging such as memory, health and fitness status, disease status, and self-efficacy all play a part in safe and effective program design. Ultimately, to retain clients, safety is essential, but effective programming should also be considered. The overarching goal is to empower clients to make continual progress without pushing them beyond their limits, which could lead to injury or illness. Thanks for watching this video.